I think in DC right now, there's a lot of energy and a lot of positivity on the part of the people who are involved in the arts scene. So with Capital Bop, we're sort of catching that wave of creative energy that's taking over the whole city, and we're making sure that it doesn't pass by the jazz scene that's always been here and always been going strong. We felt like there's got to be some way that we can bring people in and show them how much this stuff is still living, breathing, and developing. In December 2010, we started doing DC Jazz Loft shows. They were basically just DIY, uh, low frills, really casual ways to showcase jazz. And the kind of crowds we attracted were awesome. They were young uh, and old, and they were casual, and they were just really interested in the music. And last year, when we partnered with the DC Jazz Festival for the first time, we put on a whole bunch of these shows at a variety of different venues, and it was a huge success because the DC Jazz Festival brought us a whole lot of audience, and we were able to bring in really big names from out of town, who we then paired up with local acts. So this year, what we decided to do uh, is to take our annual series of shows at the DC Jazz Festival and bring everybody else in. We're going to have integrative arts programming. We're bringing some of the top names from around the country. Tar Baby featuring Oren Evans, Nasheet Waits, Eric Rivas, Mark Carey's new group, Cosmic Indigenous, Todd Marcus's amazing nine-piece jazz ensemble. But this isn't just a jazz thing, not just a concert. The series is going to culminate on June 9 with a full day and a full night of music, but we're also going to have film, we're going to have visual art, we'll have food, drink, dancing, we'll even have a panel discussion on the synthesis of jazz and hip-hop in today's musical world. So the idea here is just to get everyone participating in jazz in a way that a lot of people don't imagine that they can. Jazz can be a music that we can all just go out and have fun to, uh, and we appreciate it as some of the most advanced music there is. but. It's also music that gets your heart moving uh, and gets you moving on the dance floor. Uh, and that's always how it's been. And there's no reason for us to stop it from being that today. Jazz is about living. It's about expressing yourself in a moment. It's about improvising and about having a conversation. And in terms of the arts, all of those things are critical. So I think that jazz has a lot to teach everyone else and that everyone else has a lot to show to the jazz world. into a reality. We need your support. That's why we're offering a range of different rewards. We hope that when you'll give, you'll give generously. We want to make sure that we have the power to keep the ticket prices as low as possible so that everyone can enjoy the series. With your help, we're confident that we can put on a series of amazing, exciting shows and use jazz to bring the entire creative scene of this city to a whole new level. <laughs> Yeah, my name is Tanya.